Adam, the answer you've given for your own question is 1912. Jackie, for 5,000 pounds, you have to decide if Adam is lying or flying. Oh, um, must have been around then, but 1912. Now I'm going to say Adam's lying. So you're saying Adam is lying. If you're right and Adam is lying, then you're flying, which means that you, as the flyer, get to challenge. No, because you're flying, you're, you're lying, and Adam. It's very simple. It's a game of bluff. Rick, may I? Adam, you asked Jackie when Tennessee Williams was born. You told her that the answer was 1912. Jackie said that you're lying. Adam, are you lying or flying? I am lying. It was 1911. Well done, Jackie. Now you're flying. Your turn to ask a question. Hit me with it. You see? So that's, that's how it works. Look, you've obviously got something good here. You've just got to make it clearer. I agree. I mean, you were confusing yourself. Not really, I wasn't. It was a bit of a mess. Uh, it is supposed to... But why don't you take it away with you, see if you can nail it down and come in and see us again? Sure, I'd love to. Just anything in particular? Have you ever thought about presenting? You're good. Yeah, you are very good. Mm. <laughs> well, I did a bit of stand-up. Yeah, he's, he's very much just the writer on this. I wish they'd mark their packets clearly. Yes, they dissolve. Well, no, they don't dissolve. You're probably choked to death trying to swallow them. Mm. So how are you feeling? Not great. Poor you. So you're just going to stay in bed then? I'm going to have to. Can you call Lizzie for me? Let her know I won't be in. Yeah, of course I will. Mm. Do you think you'd be better tomorrow? Um, I hope so. It's probably one of those 24-hour things. I just need to sleep. Oh, I'll call her. If there's anything urgent... It'll so... have to wait. And you don't want to go back to work and discover Please. that... Because that can happen, actually. You take a break Rick, and then what... leave me alone. I just need some sleep. Huh? Yeah? OK. I'll leave you to rest. Oh, they like the quiz show, by the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lying or flying, the meeting went very well. So Marty kept jumping in and confusing. I think it was confusing himself, to Rick. be honest. I'm not, I don't even know if he really understands the rules. It's very simple. It's just a game of bluff. The flyer keeps going until Rick, you get... Rick, hmm? please, go away. OK. I'll call Lizzie for you. Oh, thanks, Izzy. Yeah, no, I'll pass it on to her. That's great. Yeah. Well, look, I've got her phone, so any worries? Yeah? Just call. All right. Bye. What? Well, it's being helpful. Mm. So what's up with Mel? Oh, it's some kind of flu, but, you know, sometimes I think it's a question of not giving in to these things. You gave in pretty quickly when you pulled out of that amnesty gig. Oh, yeah, I was really ill. You know, the doctor was worried that was meningitis. No, you were worried it was meningitis. The doctor said it was a cold. Oh. How he can diagnose that on the phone, I don't know. Come on, let's knock this treatment into shape. Not that there's anything wrong with it. If you hadn't screwed up, we'd have had a commission by now. I didn't screw up. You kept putting me off. You were getting it wrong. You kept butting in. OK, whatever. So we're pitching the show. We got Adam and Jackie sitting there. Explain the rules. OK. Do you think Jackie's a lesbian? What? Jackie. Do you think she's a... Why do you want to know that? Well, I'm just curious. I, I mean, she's perfectly nice and everything. I would just... I didn't think much of Adam, though, did you? You're confusing yourself, you specky twat. Oh, I don't think you needed those glasses. It was just her effect. Rick, I really want to get this done. OK. So we got Jackie and Adam. In his stupid glasses. Yes, in his stupid glasses, sitting next to Jackie the lesbian. Now explain the goddamn rules. OK. Sorry. It smells fine. Hello. 
Hi, Izzy. Yeah, no, no worries. No, I'm not busy. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> Hi, Magda. Oh, don't come near me. I'm not well. Oh, really? Oh, I have a bad headache. Oh, well, there you are. Oh, I have the same thing as Mel. Oh, I'm very much down, sir. I mean, she really is ill. I had to insist that she stayed in bed. Yes, but I can carry on because I make special soup. Plus, you're not actually that ill. You've just got a cold. Hmm? And maybe you'd feel a bit better if you did a bit of hoovering or something, huh? And obviously, if you're not well, then have the day off. In my country, we make this soup when we're not well. We think it's better than medicine. Yeah, but then your country has a life expectancy of 47, so... <coughs> Magda, why don't you go home? Perhaps it's yeah. best. And you know what? Take tomorrow off as well. I will make Mel some soup. Well, I really wouldn't bother. Not unless it's penicillin flavoured. Mm. Yeah, but thank you anyway. Now listen to me. This is the plan. You email it over to me, and then I'll I'll show it to Mel a bit later on. Yeah. Okay. Bye. I'm sitting here in awe. It's like having lunch with Alan Sugar. There you go. Two toasted specials. Thanks, Michael. Oh, I like your new mobile. Very metrosexual. Yeah, it's Mel's actually. She's quite ill. Oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. She's got one of these viral things. Really knocked her out. Oh, that's awful. Poor Mel. Still, I do sometimes think with these things, it's a question of not giving in to them. Not really. Not when it's an actual illness. Oh, that's the thing with me. I just don't do ill. <laughs> just don't do ill. Maybe Mel should try that. It's a question of attitude. I just don't believe in illness. Well, you don't have to believe in chicken pox to get that, or measles. I literally haven't had a day off work since, since I... all that business with the... the, um... Anyway, I left that job. Oh, by the way, have you seen this? It's Friday. It's our third World Awareness Day. What, I missed the first two? Sorry? Forget it. Yes, it's a chance for all of us to do our bit to help the less fortunate. Yeah, well, you've got to feel sorry for them, all that illness and disease over there. They must have a really bad attitude. Well, I do sometimes think that, but still, we've got to do what we can. Oh, incidentally, what I said about Mel, I hope it uh, didn't sound uncaring. No, it's fine. That's just as far as I'm concerned, illness is all in the mind. Yeah, just really busy at the moment, you know, what with uh, this and that. It's knackered. <sighs> just aren't enough hours in a day, are there? No. All the night. How is she? Uh, yeah, pretty much the same, really. Um, do you think she needs a doctor, Dad? No, it's just one of those flu things. Yeah, I had something like that. Wiped me out, you know. I was flat on my back for weeks. Couldn't, uh, couldn't do anything. But you got over it? Yeah, yeah, no, bounce back. Well, that's good. Oh, uh, Dad, me and Ben were thinking that, um, oh. we, were, we were wondering if maybe you'd like to, uh, buy a T-shirt. Yeah, it's for, uh, Third World Awareness. Oh, right, the thing is I'm already involved in something at Michael's Cafe. <laughs> Dad, it's to help save starving children. I know, that's why I'm supporting it. If you don't agree with it, then... Well, of course I agree with... All right, I'll have a T-shirt. How much? Uh, 30 quid. 30 pounds? One T-shirt? It's, uh, it's ethical trade. Yeah, they're made without using cheap labour. You're not kidding. Safe. Brilliant, Dad. Um, and once they're made, we'll get you one, definitely. Well, they're not even made yet. Yeah, well, what we were thinking is um, that we'd order them once we got the money. You maybe even get them printed with something. Oh, why not? Hmm. Uh, maybe you want to get one for Mum as well. Oh. Well, you know what? I think I might wait till they actually exist before I buy any more. Yeah, that's a, it's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Thought you might like a cup of tea. Thanks. Feeling any better? Not really. Oh, poor you. Only... I thought you said it was one of those 24-hour things. 
so really. I know, I'm sorry. Izzy's been ringing all day. I mean, it's under control. I'm dealing with it. It's just... Uh, yeah. No, I'm just saying. She, she sounds a bit out of her depth so just soon as... Just need to rest. Yeah. Maybe I should get you something from the chemist. I don't need anything from the chemist. I just need some sleep. Michael reckons he never gets ill. God, he's annoying, that man. He's doing his third world day. I said to him, shame I missed the first two. He, he didn't get it. Rick, mm. I'm really not feeling too good. I know. That's what I said to Magda. She thinks she's got the same thing as you. I said, I don't think you appreciate just how ill Mel is. I mean, she is really, really suffering. Leave me alone. A party going down Interesting people Conversation to be found I've lived in cities Where there is no solitude Made some friends There that I hope I'll never lose But for now I want to stay In this quiet town Hi, how can I help? Uh, yeah, I've got something for flu Sure, is it for yourself? Uh, no, it's for my wife. She's got flu. Uh, well, she's not actually my wife, but... Uh... But it is definitely flu? Yes, she's got all the symptoms. Uh... Could you describe them for me? <sighs> well, they're flu symptoms. Could I have the extra strength paracetamol? Mm. Sure. Um, do you think your partner would consider a homeopathic treatment? Uh, no, not really. It's much gentler on the body and just as effective, in my opinion. Maybe when she's better, but not now. I'd recommend this. Would you? It's echinacea. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I just want to get some medicine for her. Echinacea's a medicine. I don't know about that. I do, and it is. Could I just have the extra strength paracetamol? It's herbal, anyway, it's from trees. Mm. You're thinking of aspirin. It has salicylic acid in it, which is found in willow bark. Well, it's all the same. <laughs> well, hardly. I'd also recommend gelsemium. Look, thanks for the advice. I didn't come in here for lifestyle tips. I just want some proper medicine. Ah, well, how do you define proper medicine? Uh, well, stuff that was made by scientists and tested on animals. Not something you went out and found under a hedge. You have a very interesting view of homeopathy. Yeah, well, my wife just wants to kick the flu. She doesn't want to dance around a fire until she goes into a trance and contacts her ancestors. Fair enough. So she is your wife, then? This is the stuff you want. Take two of these every four hours, and that's £3.50. Thank you so much. No problem. Oh, look, this is a freebie. You might like to try these. They're great for all that stress and tension you're walking around with. Yep. Well, didn't actually have that when I came in here. But thanks, anyway. <laughs> So how is Mel? Is she feeling better? No change, really. Maybe try echinacea? Oh, don't you start. OK, let's finish this pitch. So we've done the beginning. Now. Oh, God. Have this again all day. I'm sorry. Hi, Izzy. Yeah. 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 OK. Well, yeah, if you, if you hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll whiz up and ask her. Yeah. OK. Yeah. What are you doing? It's one of Mel's clients has had an offer. Izzy's flapping about it. Well, you, you're gonna ask Mel? I don't need to. I know the guys, Robin Lester Jones. He's one of his interior designers. Hi, Izzy. Yeah, Mel says no way. Either they double the money or find someone else for the series. Yeah, I know, that's what she said. Hmm, me too. But yeah. Well, she must know what she's doing. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah. Bye. Oh. You're messing with the guy's career. You're not his agent. You can't do that. Well, see, you really don't understand, do you? You gotta play hardball with these people. What if they play hardball with you and you lose the guy the series? Well, then that would be their loss, wouldn't it? And his. Yeah, so everybody loses. What would be the point of that? No point at all. Yeah. Okay, so you got the beginning done. Oh, God, Magda's here. Look at her, she's turned up like the walking wounded. Oh, hang on. I thought you were going to take a day off. Yes, but I have made some soup for Belle, bringing it to her. Oh. Oh, thanks, Magda. You shouldn't have done Make her feel better. No, I'm sure it will. Now, you go home and get some rest as well, yeah? I'm feeling a little better today. Glad to hear it. Because I have plenty of soup. Good. It's made with potato. I bet it is. And, and radish. Radish? Mm, delicious. It's good for... Yeah. Well... Please tell her I hope she's feeling better. I will, yeah. And thank you for this. Play lying or flying. Hallelujah. You finally got it. Finally? What do you mean, finally? Sorry. Mel's voicemail. Probably be Izzy. When I had a post it notes, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> it's about the designer guy. Shh. Robin Lester Square or whatever. Shut up. You screwed up, didn't you? No, I didn't screw up. What's happened is they've said they've found someone else for the next series. Sorry, what part of that is not screwing up? Well, it's not down to me. It's the way Izzy must have passed the message on. She probably made it sound like some kind of ultimatum. So what are you going to do? Nothing. They, they'll come round. They're playing for time. This is a game of poker. That they won. They haven't won. They're just temporarily ahead. I hope Mel sees it like that. She won't know. By the time she's better, it'll all... I'll just go and check how she is. See if she needs anything. Yeah. How are you? I feel a bit better. Really? You don't look better. No, you're still burning. Well, I feel better. Um, I think it's those tablets you gave me. I should take some more. No, don't do that. You're only allowed to a day. But you said I should take them every four hours. No, not these ones. The pharmacist didn't even want to give them to me. Oh, well, they seem to be working. In fact, I'm getting my appetite back. Did Mike to bring some soup round? No, I don't think so. Yeah, anyway, you don't want to eat now. You've been ill. Mm, you're probably right. Have you spoken to Izzy? Yeah, she's fine. Anything I should know about? Nothing I can think of, no. I might just ring in and check. Uh, don't you dare. You're not well enough. I don't want you ringing people up all over the place. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this away. Hmm? You've been very ill. You need to rest. OK. OK, promise? I promise. Try and get back to sleep. It's obviously one of these 48-hour things you've got. Yeah. Keep her locked in her room. You're going to have to tell her. I don't want to bother her with petty stuff. She's ill. You think maybe you should at least switch your phone back on? All right. If it makes you happy. Let's see if she got any messages. Hi, Rick. It's Izzy. Just thought you should know that Robin Lester Jones is on his way around your house with a chainsaw. What's up? That was Robin Lester Jones. What? He wanted to thank Mel. They've come back. They doubled his money. You are kidding me. I knew they were bluffing. It's a game of poker. God, it's easy being an agent. I don't know what all the fuss is about. All you got to do is lie and hold your nerve. You are a natural. You're right. I'm good at this. Yet another thing you excel at. <laughs> Let's celebrate over lunch. Yeah, I'll just check Mel's emails and then we can do that. You know, 
Maybe I should do the deal for lying or flying if they go with Anything it. Anything to keep you from hosting it? No, I'm serious. Okay, Rick, please, you're scaring me. Oh, God, look at this press release from Izzy. Have you ever heard of Tommy Giggles? I'm hoping he's a children's entertainer. From the 80s. Walla Walla Biff Baff. Does that mean nothing to you? Oh, sounds like a funny guy. Oh, he is. He had this giant inflatable spanner. I'm laughing already. Oh, God, I'm not. Look at this. He's got this massive TV ad campaign for a DIY company. You're going to try to double his money, too? Oh, you must be kidding. He should be paying them. He hasn't worked for 20 years. Come on. Let's get some lunch. Yeah, I'll just uh, send this email off to Izzy, and then I'll be with you. So, how's Mel? Oh, she's a bit better, thanks. See, what did I tell you? The power of positive thinking. That was more the power of Fluzidol Plus. But now, anyway. what would you like to order? Uh, I'll have the chicken, please. Yeah, me too. Two small bowls of plain rice. No, no rice. No rice. Just the chicken, please. Yes, I heard what you said. You'd like the chicken, but today is... Third, Third World, World Awareness, Awareness Day. Day. Customers who take part order what they'd like to eat, but only get rice, and the difference in cost is sent to the Third World. Well, I would really like the chicken. Can't I just have that and give you the extra money? It's not just about the money. But I have already bought two T-shirts. It's about raising awareness as well. Yeah, well, I am aware that hunger is a bad thing. So I'd like the chicken. Well, I'm sure there's lots of people in Africa who would like the chicken. Yeah, I dare say. But me not having the chicken doesn't mean that they have it instead, because it's not the same chicken. Right, so you're actually having the chicken. Yes, and I'll actually make a donation to go with the T-shirts that I actually bought. Fine, how about you? I'll do the rice thing. That's very good of you. Right, I'll get your chicken. It wasn't so bad, the rice. Stupid bloody idea. Should have had the chicken. No, you upset everyone by ordering it, and then you don't even touch it. I couldn't eat it with all those hand ringers watching. I'm starving now. That's the spirit, see? Now you're getting into it. Hi. Hey, Magda, good to have you back. I am better now. Glad to hear it. Well, that's the thing with coals. They do clear up very quickly. So I've made some more soup for Mel. Oh, that's very kind. I'll take it up to her. No, it's OK. No, it's OK. I'll take it. She said she did not receive soup yesterday. Is that what she said? No, she really was delirious. So she gets this. Rick? Oh, hi. You're looking better. I feel better. Are you all right? Me? Yeah, I'm fine. My headache's gone. I think my temperature must be back to normal. Feel my head. Oh, I can see. Shows from here. You're well again. Fantastic. What time is it? Ah, uh, I think it's... Uh, you know, I think it's about... Uh, oh. Yeah, it is 2.30, yeah. I'm really hungry. Magda said she'd bring me up some soup. In fact, she said she brought some yesterday. Mm. I'll go and look into that. I'm glad you're well again. Me too. How's Izzy? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's all fine. Rick. Hmm? Thanks for everything. That's okay. I'll go and get some of that soup for you. Sorry about that. I think she's well enough to get up, to be honest. Any reply from Jackie and Adam? We sent it two hours ago. Yeah, I know, but if they're keen. Mm -hmm. What you doing? I oh, just want to see if Izzy's replied to my email. You know, the Tommy Giggles one? Hmm. Hmm. That's odd. What? Mel's had 138 emails. I just don't understand how... What's the problem? I replied to Izzy, and it's gone and sent it to all the... Oh! What did you do? It was just a joke. What did you write? Oh, it was to Izzy. Tell me what you wrote. I j Hiya. My name is Tommy Giggles, though I am known by social services as Tommy Pantsniffer. And? I am a creepy, talentless loser who accepts any old crap that comes my way, though if I really wanted to make kids happy, I would take my giant inflatable spanner and shove it up my ass. 
Walla Walla Biff Baff, Tommy Giggles. You see, what you've done here is you've clicked on reply to all. Yeah, but that's a stupid bloody system. That's bound to go wrong. This is some list. Press contacts, TV producers, directors. Hi, is everything okay? What are you doing here? Is there a problem? No, get out. I mean, you're not well enough to be up. Well, you said I look better. You don't. You look dreadful, poor you. You should still be in bed. You've also got one of those 72 hour things. Only apologise. Like I say, I don't know how it happened. I completely understand. Okay, bye. Nothing in this. Shut up. Is hi? Has he rung in? No, I've been trying him all morning. You'll let me know, won't you? Yep. Okay, bye. She upset, Izzy. I mean, it's not really her fault, so... No, you're right. It's not really her fault, is it? Because really, it's your fault, isn't it? Really. It's a private joke. Very private. See, because you know your email. I reckon that needs looking at. No, it doesn't need looking at. You need looking at. Obviously, you're upset at the oh, moment. Does it show? The thing is, I've worked out what you can say. You say the laptop was stolen and someone with a grudge against Tommy Gibbs. Will you just stop lying? It's all you do. All day long. Lie after lie. I take one day off work and you take it upon yourself to run my business into the ground. And now I have to lie to everyone because I'm too. Embarrassed to admit that I live with someone who has the mental age of a four-year-old. That was the door. Oh, was it? Well, why don't you go and see if you can open it without cocking that up as well? Okay. Should I just go this way? Hello. Sorry to bother you. It's Melin, please. Could you tell her it's Tommy Giggles? Oh, right. Or should I say Tommy Pantsniffer? Yes. Can I explain? Sorry, is she here or isn't she? See, the thing is... Because if not, I'll go to her office and deal with her there. No. Can I explain? It was nothing to do with Mel. I wrote the email. It was just a silly, stupid joke. I didn't mean to send it to all those people. That was a genuine mistake. It's all my fault. I'm really... So sorry. Oh, I see. Fair play. I'll leave it at that then. Oh! Walla walla biff baff, matey. <laughs> <laughs> 